Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Toby the Great. In this video, I wanna have a serious discussion about the state of side income streams in 2020, dealing with what we're dealing with right now. So if you're a fan of mine, if you've watched a few of my videos, would you say I'm a pretty open person? In terms of talking about money, I tend to be pretty open about sharing stats, figures, and anything I can to really illustrate my point. I know that people online can be pretty secretive or could hold some details close to their chest, but I'm really all for information transparency. And I think that makes a better world and a more equitable world if everybody really knows what's going on behind the scenes. So in terms of ad money made from my ad, I tend to show you guys month by month when I was making pennies all to wait I was making like upwards of 50 or even hundred dollars a month My YouTube channel was recently monetized back in May even though I'm not earning massive amounts of money It is I think important to show you all the kind of benefits that you can have with a YouTube channel That is getting some type of traffic and speaking of my channel. I mean, it's not much but you see we're at 1950 subscribers which is i said in the last video but it's still like amazing i didn't think i'd get to this point at this fast really so if we can get to 2000 just 50 more that'd be wild so you know click that little subscribe button if you haven't and thanks so i'll pull out my stats here you can see that in the month of june which was the first full month that i've been monetized since i was monetized like may 20th or in the middle of may so in june i earned about 59 dollars, and that was off of 44,000 views and i thought that was cool to get paid from youtube you have to get paid through google because google owns youtube and for that you need a google adsense account and I already had that from being an app developer that was earning money from Google already. Once that's in place, you can earn money from the ads you put on your videos and pretty straightforward. I forgot to mention that you also need 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time. I know, I know that's my fault. That's on me. My bad. And you can earn money from your videos provided that you don't have inappropriate content that YouTube doesn't want to place ads on. And what exactly is inappropriate can kind of be a gray area sometimes, but for the most part, I try to stay on the safe side of my content so that I don't get any kind of flags and it limits my monetization potential. And since I just recently got monetized, I don't really have too much of a history of earnings to really show you guys any kind of trend or something that you can really take away from the channel. You can see here, I just made a little over $120 since joining YouTube. It has been cool to earn money from something that's not like my main thing, like a main job. But that goes into my next topic is where it gets a little unfortunate is for a lot of people, their side hustle or or something that I would consider a side hustle, that's their main thing. Maybe being an app developer is what you use to feed your family and feed yourself. If you look here at my CPM, which is something that you may have seen in my app developer earnings videos, that is saying how much advertisers pay to feature on your content per thousand views or per thousand impressions. Right here, it's telling you that my content is basically earning $5 per thousand views. $5 per thousand views doesn't seem like a lot unless you're getting millions of views. But speaking with a few other YouTubers that are in my niche, I am aware that people in the tech category can earn upwards of 10 to $20 of CPM per thousand views, which is four, up to four times as much as my content. But lately, a lot of YouTubers across all categories, tech, fashion, lifestyle, we're all experiencing rapid drops in CPMs. And this isn't something I really noticed because I just got monetized in the middle of this pandemic. But a lot of people have really seen upwards of 50% drops in income per month which can be huge if you're depending on YouTube to pay your bills. And it's not just YouTube. I wanna show you my app developer earnings recently. In my last video, I celebrated earning $100 in a month. And since then, my earnings have taken a complete nosedive. Just this past month for June, I made just under $45, which still is a lot of money. Like it's money that can definitely go to good use. And for July, I'm projected to maybe make $5. Ad revenue will always fluctuate even despite what's going on in the world. And it's clear that this pandemic has affected and 
may continue to affect all industries around the world, especially the online space, which is something that a lot of people put their livelihoods on. You stake your livelihoods on YouTube or maybe developing apps and CPM rates are going down dramatically. And it's tough to see because you assume that online spaces will be booming for the most part. Unless, of course, you're in the travel industry or in retail, you really expect online content to be better or more profitable than ever. And I really feel for those people because I'm not a huge YouTuber or a huge app developer. But as you can see from my limited sample size of users, my income has definitely been affected by this event that's going on. And hopefully in the future, we can get to things how they were before, where everything was just going up and things were growing. I don't know exactly what the answer is going to be, but I, I wish this video could kind of end in a positive light, but I just, I, I don't really know the answer to it. If anything, you can continue to support your favorite creators, even if it's not me, doing anything you can, if they have a Patreon, if they have a PayPal, or it could really mean the world to them. So maybe you consider that. I'm not telling you to spend money. I got, who, who am I? You don't really know me. Why would you, why would you listen to me when I tell you to spend money? But just consider it, I guess. <laughs> but as always, thank you all for watching and engaging with my content and getting my channel to where it is. 50 to go to 2000, maybe I make it before I drop this video. No matter what, I'm always gonna be continuously grateful for the community that trusted in me or had faith in me when I had 10, 20, 30 subscribers and look at where we are now. As always, thanks for watching. I keep saying as always, but really, as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.